So you go back to California. Go back to California and get on the uh, trip ship and wait. Was this your first time to be on a ship? Yes. What was it like getting on the ship? What was it like going on? Well, I was with friends. All the guys we were in radio school with were, or most of them went on this trip ship. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, we would just hang loose, uh -huh. no big deal. And uh, maybe we'll get seasick, maybe we won't. And we were up on deck, we could see the uh, San Francisco, you know, pretty close to the Golden Gate Bridge. And Bear and Buell were my best friends. We drew Bob Bear, Bob Bear, and Warren Buell. Uh huh. Bob Bear from Oregon, Warren Buell from the state of Washington. And um, our duty going over was to be on guard in the de dependents' quarters. They were taking a bunch of Air Force wives and children to Okinawa. Uh, their husbands were already there, but they were going to drop them off there. And there were also some Air Force personnel going, I guess their families would have to come later. But anyway, so we were on guard duty in, in, in there, you know. Yeah, and you said in your story that uh, most of these women were uh, very true to their husbands, but a few of them kind of wanted to interact with the officers, and your yeah. job was to keep that from happening? Yeah, the, the guy that was in charge there, the, he didn't want that going on. But uh, I, they got together still if they wanted to. And I, this was the 1950s, and I didn't think there had been a de degradation in morals at that point. <laughs> oh, yeah, there was. <laughs> some, of them, some of the guys bragged about their accomplishments <laughs> and everything. Oh, my goodness. Buell was real seasick. So uh, Bob Bear and I would um, get food out of the refrigerator, baby food, and take to it. So mm -hmm. some of the dependents were going to join their family or were yeah, going, going along to, with their family or how was that? They were going to join their family. There's one little lady that was had uh, four kids and all ages. So the baby food that you would get, it was that you got to feed to Buell because he yeah. was seasick. Mm -hmm. And that agreed with him a little better? Yeah, and we hit one rough water after another. You know, it should have took about two weeks to go from San Francisco to Okinawa. Uh-huh. And it took us uh, 29 days. Ah. At one day we they say we moved, I think less than less than 24 miles because of rough waters. Rough waters. It was rough. Talk, talk about that a little. What uh, would it be like when you try well, to sleep? You, you know, uh, you've, you've seen the pictures over there, at, at or you've seen the battleship Texas. Uh huh. The bunks uh, four high. They were canvas, you know, and everything, and we were up toward the front. So when you'd hit a big wave, you'd go up like this, and it'd feel like you were suspended. And then you, as you came down, it, it would catch you and it'd be rough. Ah. And so it, it, it was really something. Did you get seasick? No, I never did get seasick. I stayed up on deck a lot because uh, down below it smelled bad because people had got sick. Ah. And for the first day or two, you know. Oh, yeah, as they were adjusting. Mm -hmm. I would imagine a lot of people got sick. Mm -hmm. There's uh, one of the uh, majors had a dog up on the deck, on the top deck, had it in a big crate. Uh-huh. And somebody wrote on there, Sir, we think you are crazy as hell for bringing a dog on a God-forsaken trip like this. <laughs> <laughs> of course, they didn't put their name on no. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, then we got to Okinawa, and they, the dependents got off and everything, and we were uh, making out on the deck, and we're his lot of we're waving to the Japanese and the ones on down below, and a lot of the uh, talking going on, a lot of noise, and all of a sudden they drove up and they started loading uh, caskets mm. of the ones who had been killed in Korea. They brought all of them home that they could identify.